like to work as little as possible. And because of that, I like to automate as much as possible. And that's what we're doing today. We are going to be building with Python, a Python expense tracker. And this is a great way if you are someone who wants to keep track of your expenses, you know, remain diligent, make that profit. Well, I, don't, I don't know, save your money. And why are we doing this with Python? Well, for one, it gives you complete control over how you want to track your expenses. We will go through building an application with Python to track them, but then from there, you can take this project and really customize it further to further, to further automate your life. Automating by automating, you get the point. Not to mention, Python is one of the most widely used programming languages. I mean, from data science, machine learning, web development, the list goes on. So this is something that even if you are not a developer, understanding Python and how it works, even at a very basic level, will really help you stand out in your career. I know so many people who are both on the technical side, but now even on the non-technical side, or traditionally on the non-technical side, who are learning Python for that exact reason. All right, let's get building. Well, actually, wait, we're not filming here. We're not building here. We're gonna go build in the dining room because it's a higher level table for us. All right, now let's go. We're back. All right, and you can see I am in my dining room with Jack Nicholson. Hello. So on screen here, you can see we have VS Code open. And what we're going to do is walk through each section of the code, explain exactly what it is doing. So when you are building this, you know exactly why you're doing it, but then also too, how you can further, cue magical music, automate your life. All right, so you can see here, we created a class called expense. This can be called whatever you want. In this case, because we are doing the expense tracker, it makes sense. Then we have this init method here, which will create an object every time we fill out these information. So we have date, description, and amount. But you can also add more to this. These are just the three things that I really want to focus in on. All right, next up, we created one more class. This one is called expense tracker. Now there will be two classes throughout this project, one being expense, one expense tracker. Expense tracker, as I'm sure you can guess by seeing this empty array here, is going to collect the list of expenses, whereas expense will be the individual expense. All right, so you can see I added some extra things in here as well. We now have add expense, remove expense, and few expenses. And these are the three options we are going to prompt ourselves in the terminal uh, when we are going through adding in our expenses. So first with add expense, it's pretty self-explanatory. We will pass in expense. And then for remove expense, this is more interesting. So we will check to see if the expense exists based on the index. And if it does exist and we want to delete it, we can use del for delete. And this is a built-in statement that we can use with Python. It's very self-explanatory. I feel like with everything in Python, or for the most part anyways, a lot of it is so self explanatory or it feels like you're dealing with natural language, meaning it's English language or it's just really easy to read and to build things with, which is why we love Python. So if it is, if the index does exist, we can print remove expense or expense removed successfully. Otherwise we will put print invalid expense index. Can't speak today. Okay, next up here, you can see we have view expenses and this will display a list of the expenses when we choose this option, which is my favorite because it's a really good way to calculate what I spent in a day, which by the way, it adds up faster than you realize, which is terrifying. All right, for view expenses, you can see here, we are checking to ensure that first an expense does exist based on the index. So if it is equal to zero, there'll be no expenses found. But we got expenses. We are expensive. Ex expensive. We are expensive. All right, so then we go down here, expense list, where we are doing a for loop basically. And we are going to print the date of the expense, the description we're passing in, and then also to the amount. Now, once again, back at the top here, when we scroll up, you can add as much as you want. I just did three date, description, amount, but we can really get creative if you want. Start with this and then keep on adding. All right, let's scroll back down. So then after view expenses, we have the option for total expenses. So when we have, when we print out the options in the terminal, there will be the option to view expenses, remove all of these options, remove view and total expenses. So total expenses will just give the total uh, number amount for the expenses. So you can see we're doing that here, doing another for loop, going for expense in self.expenses, which was right at the beginning. Also, if I sound a little funny, it's because I feel like I, I we went to we went on a trip last week and I feel like I spoke to more friends in two days as an introvert than I did in two years because everyone came down to celebrate us. It was, anyways, lots of fun, but my voice, it's not great. All right, back to the code. All right, so now we added in main, which is the entry point for the program. And you can see here, it is going to be calling expense tracker. 
Now this is really cool. This example is of course for expenses, but you can really take this logic and apply it to so many different things within Python. It's a really great way to understand the fundamentals, the basics. I don't know why I always do this in fundamentals, but you get the point. So here, while true, we are going to do the option for add expense, remove, view, and total. Now, as you remember, scrolling up a little bit, this is where we added in this class expense tracker the options to do this. So this is now just printing the options for the user, which is you or me. So you can see here, entering your choice, one to five, this is just any text you want. Then we go into ifs and else ifs. So if the choice is number one, which is add expense, you can see here, enter in the date. I wanted something to add in the date because I feel like oftentimes I wanted to do view expenses by date, seeing what days I spent, how much money, the total amount of money. Then if it's number two, you can also uh, remove the expense. View, number three is view, and then four is total expense, which we will be using quite a bit as well. This is so fun. It's honestly, this is done in 67 lines of code, which is pretty incredible. I'll link down below the files for this. I'll upload them to GitHub so you can also start building with it. But once again, as I mentioned, this code you can take and really personalize and make your own as well, but it's a great way to automate your life in the sense of being able to track those expenses. Let's go ahead and run this. So now all you need to do to run it if you are new to Python, or if you're not, then just a refresher, is go right click, run Python, run Python file in terminal. Okay, here we can see we have this. So expense tracker menu, let's add expense. The date is um, April 18th, 04. You're actually seeing this the next day. I'm filming this today, posting it tomorrow. That is called efficiency <laughs> or last minute. I don't know what you wanna call it. Okay, description, what did we spend today, Muggs? Oh, he's napping now, he doesn't care. Did we get dog treats? We actually did get dog treats yesterday, but we'll pretend it was today, just for this example. The amount, he is an expensive dog. I think we spent like $80 on dog treats because it was for him and Harry. Okay, so you can see here, expense has been added successfully. So let's go ahead and view expenses. Nice. Okay, so I also put in earlier while I was testing this for groceries, which was $10, and then also to dog treats. So it's kind of cool. You can see, you can imagine like the dates as you keep on going, it will, the list will keep on growing. It's so handy, honestly. Now let's go into view total expenses. So number four, $90. Isn't that so cool? Now let's try remove expense. Enter the expense index to remove. This I think we could improve. So the index for this one would be, let's remove number two, two. Okay, now go view expenses again. And now it's just groceries. It's pretty cool. I know it's a simple project, but it's a great way, A, something very useful that you can use to automate, and B, it's also very useful to learn the basics of Python. As I mentioned, even if you're not someone who is a developer, I mean, if you are, it's great too. I mean, even if you are a developer, it's great to continue to build upon that logic. I've been a developer for seven plus years, and I still feel like I'm constantly learning, especially if you're not using a programming language often, then you come back to it. It's fun just to tinker and build these projects that have real world impact that you can actually use and build upon, but also to they're fun, like they make it enjoyable. As I mentioned, I linked the code down below the GitHub repository for it. Go build, let me know what you wanna automate next. This was, this was automating, but I feel like we could take it to the next level, maybe by prompting by to enter on automation, an automated notification. Okay, now my brain's getting going. Leave in the comments what we should build next if you like these kind of videos and make sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, see you all soon.